Welcome into Bush Stadium in downtown St. Louis. MLB The Show has action out of the NL Central. It's the Pittsburgh Pirates, the St. Louis Cardinals. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chompy, singing a pair of top-level arms on the mound today. I think what makes these guys so great is their tempo. They don't take very much time in between pitches. It doesn't give the hitters an opportunity to try to think with you and gain an advantage in this chess match. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this just about ready to roll and today's starter dizzy dean chris it's a little more common these days but still he's a strikeout per inning type of guy well i hear you about the strikeouts a lot more guys striking out today but when you consider having the ability to get that strikeout particularly when you needed a man on third less than two outs situations where yeah maybe you're not a strikeout guy but just knowing you have the swing and miss stuff in a big spot i think it's real critical and he's got it Hannes wagner in the box here lets that one go for a ball here comes the pitch And there's a foul ball. Righty delivers. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Here's the Pirates lineup now. And a big factor for them in recent games, Roberto Clemente. Well, Boo, clearly he's just one of the best hitters to ever play this game. Being a member of the 3,000 hit club, just a true professional hitter. I know we use that term, but this guy is just the epitome of it. So much fun to watch him swing the bat and just work a pitcher. You can learn so much about the art of hitting from just watching this guy go about his business. Arky Vaughn stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. And the 1 0. Good eye right there. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So, right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Close one, doesn't get the call, and it's 3-0. And, oh. The pitch. And he walked him. Four pitches, that's an easy walk, man. He could have walked me right there, Boog. The last one wasn't even close. Ralph Kiner, the next pirate to hit. Kind of a throwback, no batting gloves. First pitch, not close. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Dean throws the first, and he just got his hand in there. The 1 0. That one is upstairs. Chris, with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Next offering is in for a strike. Cold night tonight, Boog, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they creep it into my mind right now. Fouls one away, and now three and two. Good zip on that fastball at the bottom of the zone. If he's there all day, it's going to be a tough one for the hitters. That to right. Usual under this one. He makes the grab, and there's two down.
batting for the first baseman, number eight, Willie Stargill. Willie Stargill now at the plate. Stargill having a lot more success on the road this season. If you're trying to come up with the ideal clubhouse presence and team leader, Willie Stargell pops probably the best you could possibly do. That misses the zone, and yeah, that's ball two. Vaughn off of first with two away. Next offering misses, and that's ball three. And you talk about Stargell's leadership. I don't think there's ever been a more close-knit team than that Pirate squad of the late 70s. And he was the heart of that team. Remember that team's theme song, Sister Sledge, We Are Family? Fouls one away, and now three and two. Pujols collects, gets it to first, and that is that. So one left for Pittsburgh. Now the Cardinals will see what they can do. There's no score. It's Major League Baseball on the show. We go to the bottom of the first. Our starting pitcher in this one, number 28. Well, you know this guy wants to be better than that. I mean, the ERA is bloated. He understands that he's got to put his team in a better position to win ball games. And at this point, you have to forget about your own individual stats, and you have to go out there and attack and try to get that W. And if you do that, you'll look up, and most likely that ERA will have dropped over time. Bottom of the first, here's a speed threat, Lou Brock. And he lays down a bunt. And foul ball. Stars were brought home the title for the Pirates in 1979, and it was more than just his leadership. Listen, in 79, he won the National League MVP, the NLCS MVP, and the World Series MVP. That's a huge season and one for the ages. That one misses one and one. And he deals. In the air, center field. McCutcheon gets under it, hauls it in for the out. Here's a Cardinals lineup now. Number three, the next to hit. He's not the power guy, but he can hurt you to all parts of the ballpark. Ball outside. One down, base is empty. In for a strike, and a count one and one. The other way, and a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. And here's the veteran outfielder, Stan Musial. Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. Swing and a miss. And that's a stolen base, not even close. Well, a nice lead and a nice steal there to get in the scoring position with the heart of the order at the plate. 
That might just lead them to pitching around these hitters a little more because of the open base, but it's early in this ball game. Can't imagine it'll change the attack plan too much. Kicks and fires. Late swing, foul to the left. The pitch. Got him. And there's two away. Most guys are very aggressive when they see the stakes out there on the base paths and can't understand why he wasn't ready to swing the bat. You've got to be ready to swing the bat in a situation like that with the go-ahead run in scoring position. Albert Pujols next up for the Cardinals. And first offering is fouled off. Rudder at second, two down. Here's the 0-2. That one fouled off. Next offering upstairs. Good purpose pitch right there. Trying to tease him, get him to raise his sights, pop something up, and make it an easy out. Next offering in the dirt. And the count's even at two. Swing and a miss, and that is that. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and miss, and you walk off the field. And welcome back. Top of the second at the plate for Pittsburgh, Roberto Clemente. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. The next offering misses. And now 2-0. and oh. Time to check in our umpires. Earl Hendricks calling balls and strikes. Yeah, well-liked umpire, Boog. Pretty consistent with his zone, so if you're familiar with him and how he works, you won't get too surprised by anything. Sometimes he'll give a little bit off the corner, but nothing too crazy at all. And it is two and one. Ground ball, left side. Gathers and throws to first. That takes care of Clemente. That exists. The designated hitter, Dave Parker. Dave Parker will hit next. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. And the first pitch misses for ball one. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And down on strikes he goes. Two down. Andrew McCutcheon getting ready to hit. Good contact guy, good Andrew defender. McCutcheon. In there for strike one. The wind of the pitch. I understand you want to try to gauge that guy's fastball, but you also have to be aggressive and ready to hit in your zone. Now you're in a tough spot. 0-2 now. 
And now one and two. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. Right-hander kicks deals. This one in the air center field. Grabs it on the run. And that's the third out. Bucks go down quietly. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Job Medwick digs in now. Medway having a really nice first season in the big leagues. Definitely a rookie of the year candidate. And the pitch. That's in for a strike. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Next pitch, One, way two. upstairs. And here it comes. Liner, base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at-bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. I'm amazed at his ability to pull his hands inside and actually square that baseball off. That pitch was off the plate. So tough to get the barrel to anything in there. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Number 11 stands in now and lets that one go for a strike. The next pitch misses, ball one. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, try to stay out of a double play here. One, two now. Stays alive. Medwin gets his lead at first with nobody out. Check on the runner, and he's back standing. Next pitch in the dirt. Two and two. Left hand hitter waits. And a foul ball. No score here in the second. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Well, he's having a tough time getting a pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Bounce to the left side. Off balance feed. There's one. On the first. Ow. Double play. Just got it there in time. Batter seven. The second baseman. Number 19. And now the rookie second baseman. Number 19. Singy, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Next one misses, and a count even one and one. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Next pitch misses, two balls and a strike.
On the ground to the left. Throw over to Stargell. And that is that. We play two full. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Jason Kendall now at the plate. Kendall hitting better against right-handers this year. So some reverse splits there. Dean back to work. And that one fouled off. Line drive, and he pulls up on it, and that's a hit. He's been swinging it really well lately. That's a good a sound good. coming off the bat, man, and as he connected out front well, and lifted into the outfield, Lee. that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Up next for the Pirates, Tommy Leach. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Team checks the runner. Kendall dives back in safely. Next pitch is downstairs. One and one. That's inside. Top of the third, no score. And now it's even up. Knowing that the pitcher wants a ground ball double play opportunity here, you've got to lay off pitches down in the zone. Right there, swinging at that pitch, that's a no-no. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And one out now. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because oh, if they get the on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it could take away your focus from the next hitter, and that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi-run home run. And now, Hannes Wagner. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact yeah. hitters in the game. At the belt and fires. And downstairs. And strike two. I mean, that's perfect location right on the black. I mean, over and over again, this guy demonstrates the ability to hit those spots. They're so tough to do anything with as a hitter. Meanwhile, this pitch gets away, and the runner stays where he is. Righty to the plate. That's a ball. So here we go. Base runner at first could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. So now three and two. Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. Next offering is fouled back. Three, two now. On the ground, a second might be two. Good feed. That's one. And it's a double play to end the inning. We head now to the home half of inning number three. We're tied. Nothing, nothing.
bottom of the inning. And now the Cardinals catcher, Yadier Molina. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. And the right hander back to work. That one ripped. And it drops in, but a good job to keep it in front. So up next, number eight. First pitch, and he just misses. Kicks and deals. He swings and fouls one off. And a pitch. That's down and in. Account. Next pitch is outside. And the right hander deals. Fouls one away, and now three and two. Nobody out, runner at first. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there, or for the ump to help him out and make a call with that last pitch, but neither happened. Close pitch, but a good take to earn that walk. So the batting order turns over, and now here's the speed threat. Outfielder, Lou Brock. In there, and it's 0-1. Big at bat right here with an opportunity to do damage. But on the flip side, ground ball, double play, strikeout, that could get the inning back under control on the mound. Number four, the lead runner out at second. Number eight at first with no outs. Fouled off left side. The pitch stays alive. And a pitch. That one missed. One and two here. Maybe a two ball. Five. Has some trouble with it. Goes to second. Safe there. Man, I was expecting 5-4-3 double play off the bat, but I think he just tried to be a little too quick there, especially when you think it's a pretty routine ball to handle. It's really easy to think ahead to the transfer and the throw before you actually bring it into your glove. And now, number three. First offering misses the mark. Base is juiced, no outs. Next offering upstairs. Pressure's on right here. 2-0 count, base is loaded. You don't want to fall to a three-ball count and then walk in or on. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. The 2-0 is in for a strike. They need a strikeout and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up, something, but you've got to make some pitches. But if he can battle and get through this, he can earn some points. On the ground, right side. But it's one nothing as the run scores. They'll expect a back and forth this entire game because of how good the offenses are. 
And up next for St. Louis, Stan Musial struck out looking at his first at bat. Well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. First pitch ball. doesn't find the zone. And the righty deals. And a foul ball. And that one hammered. That's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Both runners tagging. Throw home, not in time. The run scores. And they lead by two. So many times that one gets out of here and into the seats, but he'll take the sack fly RBI. Good job to get that run in from third. So now it's the four hole hitter, Albert Pujols. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat, drive in that run. You may not have another guy in scoring position the rest of this ballgame. The 0-2. And that one upstairs. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Wanted to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Two outs. Try to get him to chase on the changeup that time. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Here comes the pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Rudder at third, two away. Right side, Clemente. Has this one sized up? And that is that. Three innings complete. It's the Cardinals two and the Pirates nothing. here in St. Louis as we go to the top of the fourth. And the batter will be the shortstop, Arky Vaughn. Arky Vaughn. The wind and the pitch. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. And that will drop foul. The pitch. Strike two. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. The pitch. And he chases that one. And one away. Gosh, here it is, hit it. Three-pitch strikeout, all fastballs. Man, he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch right now. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Ralph Kiner. In there for strike one. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. Oh, hey, he doubled up on the off speed there. We talk about the power fastball, but he's working a little differently here. That hits the dirt. One and two to count. And that one missing low. Well, he might have to look for a different put-away pitch right here, 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at-bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Now this is in the air down the line. 
Musial moving back for this one. Makes a nice running catch. Two away now. Now batting the first baseman, Willie Stargell. Willie Stargell, the next pirate to hit. Grounded out his first time up. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. That one's in there, 0 1. If you're not ready for that pitch, you're just going to swing and miss or pop it up, waste the at bat. If you're going to let it go, you better be ready to swing it. The 0 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. You want to be patient here. Try to work a walk if you can. You've got a big power bat behind you in the on deck circle, and with two outs, one swing can put you right back in this ball game. Next offering is in for a strike. The wide to kick the pitch. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a 1 2 3. Nothing doing here for Pittsburgh. They trail things here 2 0. The one I want to spoil you. My queen looking for you. Let's go. Ready to go. Bottom four. Now up for St. Louis. Joe Medwick. For St. Louis. The left fielder. Go. The pitch. Medwick. This one popped up. And there's one down. That was a good hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Okay. Hitter looked like Number he was 11. on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop up and an easy out for the defense. So digging in, number 11. And that's in there for strike one. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Singy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yep, just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but he gets soft contact and he gets outs. into center McCutcheon moving under this one hauls it in and there's two away the batter number 19 standing in is the power hitting second baseman number 19 this guy makes great contact one of the best in the game at putting bat on ball he's got such quick hands and he's gaining pitch recognition that keeps him square to the plate. There's a good chance that his bat stays in the zone a long time, and that produces solid contact consistently. The 0-1. Fought off foul. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. One, two, three, go the Cardinals. They're up to nothing. Just some things, some things we show. It's just some places, some places we go. It's just some whips, some whips we roll. Oh, always we know. Just some things, some things we show. Back here at Bush Stadium, top five, John Chambi with Chris Singleton. Leading and five. leading it off, Roberto right Clemente. Field, number 21, Roberto Clemente. The wind of the pitch. Ball one there. There's so much Clemente can do at the plate and in the field. Next offering misses, and it's 2-0. Oh. And another ball. 
About the only thing Clemente didn't have was elite speed, but the other four tools were as strong as anyone's in the game. Let's see if he gives them anything to hit here. And that's ball four. That could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and the leadoff batter's on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a called strike before he takes the bat off his shoulder. And now the DH, Dave Parker. Clemente on the goal. And first offering is fouled off. Righty delivers, and there's the strike. Roberto's number one tool had to be his rocket arm. The bat's not far behind, though. Tremendous opposite field power. On a line, base hit. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. I think he made his pitch on the mound. Two strike count made him chase way outside the zone, but just couldn't get him to miss. And somehow he found a way to put it in play for the knock. Stepping in, Andrew McCutcheon. First and second here, no outs. Check swing, appeal to first. And yes, he did. He went around. The 1 1. Foul ball. That one kicks away from the catcher. Clemente on third, Parker at second with nobody out. That one hit to right. Usual puts it away, and there's one away. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Two on, one out, and here's the catcher, Jason Kendall. And he deals. There's a strike. One, one. Kicks and fires. Oh, and now a wild pitch. But no advance from the runners. The 2-1. In the air, left field, down the line. Brings it in. Runner tags for home. Throw cut off, now to the plate. But it's offline. And they trail by one. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. The third base, number seven. Tommy Leach. So two down now. And here is Tommy Leach. In there, and it's 0-1. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first-pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Runner leads away at second. Going to count one and two.
two outs and one in scoring position. And down on strikes. Good job at damage control right there. So one run on one hit, no errors, and a runner left. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Cardinals two and the Pirates one. Welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Yadier Molina. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch and throw. He is at the top of the game. And here it comes. That's through there for a strike. And that one pulled foul. Out in front and foul to the left side. Out to center. McCutcheon puts the squeeze on that one. One up, one down. Now batting. Number eight. So up next, number eight. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out and he makes all the plays. Pitch misses inside, ball one. And because of that big power arm, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the diamond and still get a pretty good runner. That's impressive. Pulls it down and there's two gone. The batter, the center fielder, Lou. And here's the St. Louis leadoff man, Lou Brock. In the air, left field, Kiner. He ranges to his right, and he makes the catch. And that'll do it. Redbirds down quietly, but they still lead it 2-1. to one. And welcome back. Top six. And now the Pirates lead off man, Hannes Wagner. The second baseman. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time. And he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bunt. Can't get there. Should be extra bases. And the tying runs at second base with a double. Now batting, shortstop. Now it's the shortstop, Arky Vaughn. A strikeout and a walk. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Liner to second and picked on the hop. Tosses to first. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. Now batting. Left fielder. Ralph Kiner. Here's some real power at the plate. Ralph Kiner. Listen, there's absolutely no reason to pitch to this guy right here. You nibble, you see if he'll expand his zone, but don't give him anything to hit. If you walk him, not a big deal. You have a double play opportunity set up. First offering misses the mark. You know, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release point. 
He hasn't wanted to challenge him. Both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just have to be patient and take your walk here. Runner at second here, one gone. Two-one pitch is in there, and the count is even. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine, oh, now this ball's going to get through, and that's a base hit. Tying run is in to score from second. It's 2-2. Two -two. Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control, and it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. Willie Stargell, the next pirate to hit. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Just missed. Ball to strike. And that's outside. Kiner, the base runner at first with one out. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Hauls it in for the out. The right fielder, number 21, Roberto Clemente. At the plate for Pittsburgh, Roberto Clemente. He's a guy... Chris's highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see. Definitely one of the best arms of the sport. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Yeah, the infielders and the catcher can never give up on a play because if this guy thinks he has a chance, he's going to throw it from the warning track if he has to. Lifted in the air, right center field. And that is that. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. 2-2 two -two game. Back here at the ballpark. Bottom of the sixth inning. Here's the Cardinal DH. Number three. That's a Number three. And a pitch. And there's a strike. Chris, we were excited to watch him pitch. This is a little more along the lines of what we were expecting performance-wise. Yeah, Boo, great pitchers like this. You may get one opportunity in one inning to get to him, to get some runs up on the board. And if you don't take it then, you may see zeros the rest of the ball game. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Tosses across the first. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Now batting, right fielder, Stan Musio. And up next for St. Louis, Stan Musial. This guy has turned into a beast. Well struck, right field. And off the base of the wall throw and it gets away and he'll pull into second safely one out runner at second and now here is Albert Pujols gotta be careful with this guy he's got power he can untie it with one swing well, look out here he's gonna come up ready to swing in this situation
And the first pitch misses for ball one. Bullpen action for the Pirates. Garrett Cole loosening up in case he's called upon by Derek Shelton. Law warming up as well. One out and a runner at second. And a big swing and a miss. Moved to second, and he's back in there. The next offering misses, and a count two and one. Right-hander kicks, deals. There's a strike. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. Kicks and deals. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Kiner on the move to the gap. Tracks it down for the out. Runner tags it second, and he's up to third safely with two gone. Now batting. The left fielder. Joe oh. Medwick will hit next. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Knocks it down. That leaves him without a throw, and a run is in to score. Well, there you go. The RBI machine, another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Runner at first with two away. Number 11, the next now to hit. Number 11. In there for strike one. Inside just missed. Medwin, the runner at first with two gone. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. So they pick up a run on two hits. No errors and a man left. We're through six full. It's the Cardinals three and the Pirates two. Back here in St. Louis. Now it's the DH. Dave Parker. The designated hitter. Dave Parker. Dean back to work. And a good eye there. Movement in the bullpen for the Cardinals. Number 38, the rookie right-hander is getting loose. Number 44, getting loose as well. Next pitch is outside. And it goes just foul. The pitch. And that's him for a strike. Well, I'm impressed with that challenge pitch right there. Even with this slim lead, this guy's not afraid to go right after these hitters. 
Got him. And they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. I mean, you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. McCutcheon at the plate for the third time as he comes up empty there. Now this one is smoked down the left field line. On its way, if it's fair, out of here. That was a moonshot. His 13th home run of the season, and we are starting over. It's 3-3. What an incredible momentum swing on that home run, Boog. I mean, it's late in the game, just barely stayed fair. That ties up the ball game. Impressive. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Dizzy Dean won't go any further tonight, and it's a tie ball game as he heads for the dugout. Back with a new arm after a quick break. Number 16 comes on now. 25th appearance of the year for him. Number 16. So one out, nobody on. Jason Kendall, the next pirate to hit. Now batting. Catcher. Jason. Swag on, belted. That one's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. That's just a really nice catch on the run right there. He saved extra bases for sure. If the pitcher's his friend, he'll give him a second to catch his breath before he's ready to deal the next pitch. Two outs, bases empty. Tommy Leach, the next pirate to hit. First offering, and it just misses. And he takes a strike. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Popped up. Number 19. Moving under it. He's got it. That is the inning. But Pittsburgh gets even on the solo homer. We're tied now with three apiece. Bottom of the seventh. Now here is number 19. He's a big, strong guy. Can untie this game with one swing. The pitch. And there's a ball. And a pitch. And that's outside. Righty to the plate. This to third. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. And the Pirates manager making his way to the mound now as he will make the move. Number 28 is done, and as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. Now on the bump, Garrett Cole. 
He last pitched four days ago, so he should feel pretty fresh. Number 45, Garrett. Yadier Molina, next up for the Cardinals, one for two. First offering, misses the mark. If you're a base runner, you gotta stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. The go-ahead run aboard at first, nobody out. Next pitch is outside. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. 2-0. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. Here's a 3-0. And that one is in for a strike. Wow, that's 89 on the gun, and it's a changeup. It's like good hitting if you're looking for it, but because of the speed differential between the fastball and that pitch, really hard for a hitter to get on time with it. Squeezes it, and there's one down. Now that's number eight. So digging in, number eight. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. And that's in there for strike one. Now well, this is just par for the course these days. Huge fastballs coming out of the bullpen. One away, tie game. Go ahead run, stands at first. Yeah. Next offering is in for a strike. Don't play situation here. He's been working up in the zone. Typically, you look for guys to get that ground ball. See if he adjusts on this next pitch. Only two now. Yeah, the one-two misses to even the count. Great job of laying off those pitches down in the zone to even the count off at two and two. Such a better feeling for the hitter. At the belt and fires. That one the other way. To the shortstop at second, but it pulls him off the base. Now batting, center fielder, Lou Brock. Back to the leadoff spot in the St. Louis lineup. Here's the center fielder, Lou Brock, for the fourth time tonight. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Right-handed reliever on the ground out to short into the outfield base hit throw comes in quickly holds that go ahead run at third and there's still one away just a huge at bat right there just a simple ground ball the other way they had eyes on it man sometimes that's all you need to do just let the ball travel put the ball in play and just hope it finds a hole number three next up for the cardinals tapped softly on the ground and it gets by him Oh, behind the back. I promise you, there are guys that get a little bit faster when they can smell an RBI. That was a possible inning ending double play. Great hustle, and he gets rewarded with the RBI because of it. Now up for St. Louis, Stan Musial. Pulls that one foul. Looking for some insurance, or as our friends down in the South would say. Insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. Now 
And now the 0-1. Cole, he's kind of a prototypical bullpen arm in today's game. Electric stuff, that results in a ton of strikeouts in a tough spot like this. That is a big-time benefit. Here's a 1-1. Base hit, and a run comes in. Picks himself up in RBI. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. So here's the cleanup hitter, Albert Pujols. The third baseman, number five, Albert Pujols. In the dirt, but kept close. Throw, save! And both runners move up on the wild pitch. Now, as a hitter, when a guy like this comes into the game, you feel like he's standing on top of you, and it's just attack mode coming right at you. So with second and third occupied, they go for the intentional walk. Base is now loaded, and there's a force at every base. How big a deal seven. is that walk? I don't think it's a big deal because if you pitch to the previous hitter with the power he has, he can hit a home run. I think it was a calculated walk. We'll see how it pays off here. Joe Medwin stands in with two away as he takes a ball. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Number three, the runner at third. Number six, over at second. Number five, at first, two out of the inning. Next offering is in for a strike. He's been able to go inside as well as outside, effectively working both sides of the plate in this at bat. The one, two. Left field. Kiner going back, racing back some more. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Cardinals five and the Pirates three. Back here at Bush Stadium, we go to the eighth, and now the Pirates leadoff man, Hannes Wagner. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Bruce Suter up and throwing. And the right-hander deals. Out towards left center. Medwin drifts towards it. And it's caught for the out. The batter, number five, shortstop, R.K. Number 38 on the pitch out of the pen here. He's into the game with the bases empty. Number 38. And here is Arky. He's turned into one of the best shortstops in the game. First pitch, and he just misses. Just off the inside edge. Next pitch is inside, and it's 3-0. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Well, it can be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He has it. We'll see how this at-bat turns out. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Ralph. Up next for the Pirates, Ralph Kiner.
First pitch doesn't find the zone. After five straight balls to start this inning, this hitter might have the green light, but it's going to be one pitch in one location if he's going to swing. And a 1-0. 2-0 -oh. no, no. count to a guy with this much pop at the dish. You better expect him to be turning on something. It's going to either get hit hard to the pull side or the fans better look out in the stands. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. A flip to the pitcher covering. Pitcher gets to the bag for the out. Now that the first baseman really starts. So now it's the four hole hitter, Willie Stargell. Singy, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know I like to talk about, I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in those spots. First pitch just misses. Well, I think it's the ability to assess the situation, understanding what the pitcher has, what he's trying to get people out on, and then being able to use the entire field. Man on second, two down. Off the mark there, ball two. If you're a guy that can only hit to one field, then you're really not going to be able to come through in clutch situations because pitchers are going to adjust. But because he's able to use the entire field, that's why he's so successful in these situations. Left-hand batter waits. A little bit low. The tying run at the plate. And yeah, there's ball four. Walks out of the bullpen can absolutely kill your momentum very quickly there in some hot water trying to protect this lead. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Roberto Clemente. This guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. That one's in there on one. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. First and second, two down. And a foul ball. Well, early on that fastball, I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. Field two. Swing a high fly ball down the right field line. Usual pulls it down. Pirates strand a couple. They're still down five three. Welcome back, bottom of the eighth. And here's the first baseman, number 11. The first baseman, number 11. The right-hander back to work. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. And that one fouled off. And a pitch. Line drive, makes the catch, and there's one gone. Now batting, number 19. Here's the second baseman, number 19. Yeah. 
in there, and it's 0-1. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and it's 0-2. I guess you throw it that hard, you can get away with locations like that right down the middle, but I still think it's a dangerous pitch. Don't want to do it again. Clemente settles under it, makes the grab, and there's two down. The batter, the catcher. Now Molina at the plate. He is at the top of the game in terms of defense at the catching spot. It's so impressive because these guys have to do so much study and preparation for their pitchers, for opposing hitters, and really their number one job is to guide that staff through a ball game. And so when you also... Well, we'll hold that thought as that's the third out and we'll end the inning. And down in order go the Cardinals. And it remains 5-3. Bruce Suter on the pitch here, trying to protect this lead. Number 42, Bruce. So now here's the DH, Dave Parker. The wind to kick the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Suter. He's known as a reliever that excels in really tough situations. Those high leverage spots, it seems like he's at his best in these situations. And obviously the ability to get the strikeout factors in. And the righty deals. And ball one. Yeah, there are certain guys that expect to come in and dominate. And they see the challenge, the battle, just a little bit differently. They trust their stuff, and they believe that their stuff is better than that guy standing in the batter's box, what his swing, what his ability is. On the ground, and it's through for a hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. Throw back in, holds him at first, so just a single. Up next to the Pirates, the center fielder. Andrew McCutcheon. And first offering is fouled off. The mental approach is a big factor too, isn't it? Yeah, Boog, it is. And, you know, for each guy, it can be a little different. Some people consciously work on focusing, slowing things down, breathing techniques. And then there's some players that are just natural and they just seem to be more composed and less excitable. The next pitch misses. And now it's even one and one. Parker gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Next pitch misses. And a count two and one. A lot of times with relievers, they just like to get amped up and they're not really looking to try and slow it down, right? They're just trying to get hyper. Yeah, and perhaps make that hitter a little hyper and make him more aggressive. And that way, when they put a wrinkle, change speeds, he's out in front just a little bit. Here comes a pitch. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Swings through that one, it's a strikeout, and there's one down. Now, it can be so tough as a hitter to pull yourself out of an extended slump, one that lasts for several games, even a week or more. No, right now, he's really in one, so I'm sure his mind is all over the place, racing, having a hard time sleeping, trying to figure out what can get him back on track, back to feel more comfortable and settled in in the box. Here's the Pirates catcher now, Jason Kendall. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Gets under and pops it up. Dives. What a play. Two out. 
Tommy Leach, the next Pirate to hit. It's amazing. We get a chance to talk to a lot of opposing managers. This guy scares managers on the other team as much as anyone. And he gets to fly beneath the radar with the other more recognizable names in this lineup. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And just hacking like he used to. Yeah, kind of same just like that, yeah. Suter checks over to first, and he's back. Well, at least you got the pitcher thinking a little bit. You don't want to run yourself out of the ball game. You get thrown out or picked off, it's over. The 1-0. And that's down and away. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. Swing and a miss. And it's two and a one now. The pitch. And fouled off. Tying run at the plate. Stays alive. Two, two. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Well, they win the opener at home. First game of the three-game series, and there's just such a good feeling when you're in your own ballpark, you're sleeping in your own bed, you're eating your clubhouse manager's food, everything's right in your world, and they played like it today. The 5-3 final score of this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long.